Gohan it is. Cool. Let's get underway. Are the server starting? Go Gohan was determined to train like never before in the hyperbolic time chamber with his father. And all of these actions stemmed from the words of a mysterious young man. Three years ago, when Gohan and the others had safely returned to Earth, Frieza, who survived the last battle on planet Namek, descended onto Earth with his army. Gohan and friends stated Frieza's key and arrived immediately, but they found not just Frieza, but a mysterious young man as well. What? And you die once again! The boy transformed into a Super Saiyan and annihilated the entire Frieza Force instantly. Not only that, but he also predicted the place and time when Goku would return to Earth. When Goku arrives as foretold, he gave him a message, then left. His message was that androids would appear and attack the Earth in three years' time. And sure enough, the android appeared and began attacking humans. To make matters worse, Goku collapsed from a heart virus during the, the ensuing battle. As even more new androids awakened, the situation changed rapidly and several days passed before Goku finally regained consciousness. At Goku's suggestion, he and Gohan decided to train in the hyperbolic time chamber. Wow, so bright in here. And my body feels heavy. It's kind of hard to breathe. Yep, and not only that, but once this door is closed, we're completely cut off from contact with the outside world. Go take a look out back. That's the training area. You'll see the reason why I barely made it a month in here when I was a kid. Oh, this is crazy. How could this be inside a room? It's bigger than the whole lookout. It's just a huge, empty space. And it goes on and on like this in every direction. Try not to wander off too far, okay? You might not be able to find your way back. Yeah, right. And we, we've got to stay a year, huh? Come on, we've got to get to work right away. First off, we should get started on turning you into a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan? Me? I don't know. I mean, do you really think I can? Well, sure, why not? I can do it, and you're my son, aren't you? We'll spend some time teaching you how to transform, and then we'll be able to get into the real training. Told ya. It's pretty intense, right? Gravity training takes some getting used to if you've never done it before. Just keep at it, your body will adjust. Good. At this rate, he's gonna turn out even stronger than I hoped he would. Just gotta believe in yourself. Right. Outfit. Tell. While Go Goku and Gohan continue their training, Cell absorbs the other androids, reaching new heights of power. When they finish training and exit the hyperbolic time chamber, Gohan and Goku are told of a martial arts tournament, the Cell Games, to be held in nine days. The day of the Cell Games soon arrives, and warriors gather to challenge Cell in his perfect form. The first person to volunteer to fight is Goku. Vegeta and the others stand in awe of the key generated by Goku and Cell. 
But as he looks on, Gohan notices that he alone has a different understanding of what's happening. Suddenly, Goku puts a halt to the battle. To, to, the, to the surprise of everyone, he announces his surrender. Yet, that is not the only shocking thing he says. Time for you to take over, Gohan. Me take him on? I don't know. This is madness, Goku. There's no way the boy can win. I'll admit, Gohan's abilities are far beyond what they used to be. But you're pitting him against a foe even you couldn't beat. Listen, you have to trust me. Gohan has a power within him that's greater than anything you could possibly imagine. So what do you think? You see me hit Cell with anything you couldn't handle? Have you seen me go at him with anything you don't have? Indeed they do. These stories are so good. Well, no, I don't think so. But you were both holding back, right? I'm sure it'd be a lot different if you were going all out. Now, I don't know about Cell, but I was giving it everything I had. You thought I was holding back because you were gauging my energy against your own. <laughs> Gohan, answer me. Is this true? Yeah. All right, Gohan. This is it. I need you to go out there and win this one for us, okay? Then we can all go home. Okay, Dad. I'll do it. There's a lot more where this came from. We're just starting. You fool. Inside. You're through. We're just starting. end this without violence. I really don't want to kill you. Even if you are evil, you can still walk away. I'm not interested in fighting you just for the challenge. My dad's the one who cares about that stuff. But he's already dead. As long as I can remember, whenever I got real mad, or not. things would happen around me that I couldn't explain. Crazy things. Did I kill him too fast? Oh, a fascinating story, but unwise to tell. If you intend to intimidate Runt, it helps to know a bit about your audience first. Case in point, let's just say for the sake of argument, it's true. You have huge reserves of power, and let's just say I'm the sort who wants to see them firsthand. More stuff. And proficiency, of course. I don't know what that's for. Now inter interested in drawing out Gohan's true power, Cell so sends him flying with a punch. Gohan fights back, but his rage has not yet conquered his will. Cell so continues to inflict pain on Gohan in an attempt to draw out his anger. However, Gohan's own pain does not generate enough rage. To push him beyond his limits, Cell decides to switch his target to Goku and the others. Do not come any closer. It is highly unlikely you could survive such a blast. I am going to self-destruct and take Cell with me. See about that. Huh? <laughs> Such a shame, Android 16. But then a mere bomb wouldn't have been enough to destroy me anyway. Oh, 16, looks like you joined the lengthy list of Dr. Giro's failures. 
What in the world is that thing? Pay attention, little ones. Time to make them suffer. No! Gohan, listen to me. There are some foes who cannot be reasoned with. You are allowed to fight on the side of justice. Seize upon your anger. Wield it like a weapon. I understand your reluctance, but holding it in is pointless. That is sound advice. Better than I expected from an appliance. But I'd much rather tear the rage out of him. Go on. I love the animals and everything about nature. Protect them for me. They need you. <laughs> it's time to can it, you worthless scrap. What you wanted, and I'll never forgive you! So your true power has finally revealed it. Perfect. Now we can get down to business. <laughs> gotta stop this! No matter what! I already told you that's enough! Don't get comfortable, boy. Even with luck on your side, the odds of beating me are hardly in your favor. You're wrong. Yes, that's the spirit. Too bad you're going to lose it once you witness me in all my terrifying glory. She just stood there in her head. Ten of it. When the dust settles, Gohan has achieved victory over Cell. He looks up at the sky at a world free from Cell's menace. Gohan! Well done. You really are my son. Dad! What's going on? Thanks to Gohan's heroism, peace is returned to Earth. Confused? Hmm. So I just went a different way. Okay, defeat with... Okay, so that one is defeat within a given time. Okay, I get it. Uh, so I have to do it again. Damn it. Or not damn it, I don't know. Let me skip this, please. Skip. Skip. Do not come any cl Kill him. Don't kill him. Now what do I do? I'm trying not to kill him. 
What are, what are my... Uh-huh. What, what, what do I have to do? Objective defeat. Okay. Alternate objective. Defeat Zell Jr. and sell quickly. Oh, okay. Uh, I should have waited long enough, yeah? Probably. Gotta stop this! No matter what! <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't too quick. Oh, how is this possible? There we go. How can anyone on this measly planet possess so much power? It said different things. Go on! What are you doing? Finish him! It's all up to you! What, do you want me to end it already? <laughs> I'm not letting him off that easy. He deserves to feel the same pain he put all his victims through. Eighteen! Am I seeing things, or did he just puke up eighteen? What? Now I actually feel sorry for you. I think he's angry, guys. <laughs> In a few moments, I'll blow myself to bits. <laughs> I might die, but then so will all of you. This planet will explode in a burst of flame. If you lay a finger on me, boom! Bye-bye, Earth. No sense in wasting your last few seconds while you got them. <laughs> Sorry, I've thought this over, guys. Well, any way you slice it, there's only one way to save Earth. Goodbye, my friends. Uh, goodbye? You're not thinking of... Goku! No! You did good today, Gohan. Made me proud. Dad, what are you? Tell your mom I'm sorry. I'm not gonna make it home this time. His, his energy, it's gone without a trace. But the fact that victory came at the cost of Goku's life weighs heavily on Gohan's shoulders. He cannot seem to escape the shadow of regret. Just then, the ground begins to rumble from the dust. A flash of light shoots out and pierces Trunks in the chest. What, what appears before them is Cell, but one who has, has grown even more powerful than before. When Cell self-destructed, he protected his core. He protected his core from damage, allowing him to regenerate. It is the revived Cell who struck down Trunks in a surprise attack. The fight begins once again. T Trunks! <laughs> Surprised to see me. Ah! 
something amuse you? Does imminent destruction put a smile on your face? It was because of my mistake that Dad had to sacrifice himself. It's my fault you put us in that position. I'd have given anything for a chance to do it over again. Now I get one! Then let's see if you've got the power to back up your words. Luck won't be on your side this time. You won't survive this time! I am done playing games. It's time I ended this. Forget it. What's going to defeat Cell? It's going to be me! Having lost Trunks, it is do or die for Vegeta as he confronts Cell, and he pours all his power into his attacks. However, even after consecutive energy blasts from Vegeta, Cell still stands unharmed. Vegeta then collapses from Cell's counterattack just as Cell moves in for the kill. Gohan dives in at the last minute, costing him the use of his left arm. Victory is in sight for Cell, who gathered enough key to annihilate the entire solar system. Is about to fire his attack at Gohan and the others. Please, forgive me, Dad. Earth is doomed and it's all my fault. Just as Gohan is about to give up, a voice reaches him from somewhere unknown. It is the voice of Goku speaking to him from the other world. Hey! Don't go giving up now! That's not the Gohan I know! He sounds so happy. Listen to me! I promise you can beat him! You just gotta believe in yourself, Gohan! Right now, you're the strongest person in the whole universe! That's debatable. R right! <laughs> I'll put this to rest. Goodbye. <laughs> no! No! 
Like he's just singing it out. <laughs> More reading? Okay. Swing. Thanks to Gohan's victory over Sail, Earth is saved and the battle is finished. Gohan and the others suggest reviving Goku with the Dragon Balls, but that wish cannot be granted. Goku has already accepted his fate and announced that he wishes to stay in the other world to train. Gohan and his friends have grown much from the battle and they mourn the loss of Goku. They return to their daily life on a peaceful Earth. I just unlocked Bojack. Majin Buu, was there anything? Nope. To the Majin Buu lock. All right, time to go. The Great Simon! <laughs> time passes following the battle with Cell, and Gohan begins attending high school in the faraway Satan City, so he can study to become a scholar. Satan City. Disguised as Great Saiyan, lover of justice, Gohan works hard to hide his true identity as he brings down evildoers. But one day, his secret is discovered by Videl, Mr. Satan's daughter. Videl threatens to reveal Great Saiyan's true identity to the world if he doesn't participate in the next world tournament, so Gohan re relents. Go Goku overhears from the overworld and announces that he will also take part in the, uh, in the world tournament, returning to the world of the living for just one day. Gohan is overjoyed, hearing he can reunite with Goku after a long period of absence, and begins training with Go Goten to prepare for the World Tournament. As he watches Videl struggle in her match with Spovovich, Gohan trembles with rage. I don't like where this is going. It wasn't much, but that was still an energy blast he released. Don't be fooled. He won't risk being disqualified. The man's intentionally holding back. Yeah, but how? Something he's done between now and the last tournament has given the guy powers way beyond what's natural to him. But I don't know what it is. I just know something's up. Yeah, like I'm the kind of gal to give up. Just give up while you still can! You fought well! It's time to throw in the towel! <laughs> I've seen enough! That's it! Now, you answer to me! What do you think you're doing, man? Keep it together! No! Can you blame him? He's gonna pay. Huh? Hey, 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 I can do a thing. I can do a thing. Ah, I'm gonna do a thing. I'm gonna attempt to stop the fight. That's it. Damn it. Da -da 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 -da. Da! Let's change the course of the universe. Or the timeline, I should say. I think you're a big man, huh? Hey, wait! Go on! <laughs> go on? <laughs> I am taking you down. <laughs> Spobovich, this is not over. I promise you that. <laughs> That's enough. Your rewards. Oh, this is how you get Fidel. So now why do I watch that over again because when when it becomes Goku's turn to fight, he turns into a Super Saiyan in the arena, but moments later 
Super Fritz and Yama interfere and drain Gohan's energy, causing him to collapse. Okay, so we're still proceeding. Gohan asks the Supreme Kai, who is on a level even higher than King Kai, to heal him. After being healed, Gohan catches up to Goku and the others, and they continue flat chasing after Spolpovich and, and Yamu. Hmm. Along the way, Gohan and friends are told about Majin Buu and the wizard Babidi. Soon, they infiltrate Babidi's spaceship and begin battling his subordinates. Goku and Vegeta fight off a series of, un of unrushing enemies with ease. Next up is Gohan. Gohan, you're next! Have you been keeping up with your training regimen? Sad to say your boy's got it in his head that peacetime means he can take it easy. As things are now, I could knock him over in my sleep. <laughs> but, just as we saw with Zell, if he loses his temper and snaps again, we still may be in for a show. It can't be! Debora! For a human, you're quite skilled. You've earned a warrior's respect. That said, I'm afraid I've come here to halt your progress. <laughs> your boss must be in a real panic to send you out so early. Did we make the little guy that nervous? Pathetic. <laughs> Do you take pleasure in taunting? Or are you just stalling for time? All of you, come at me. I don't think so. It's my turn, so I'm taking you on myself. Excuse me? You dare to mock the great Deborah? This will finish it! What's wrong? Let's finish it quickly. My turn now. Over here. You're mine. Not done yet. I'll give you a fight. Do you need a second to talk? No? Bring it on! No way you're gonna stop me now! Thanks to Gohan's Unleashed Power, the war is defeated and the team proceeds to defeat Babidi who, who had lost a key ally. With that, Majibu's arrival has been successfully prevented. I killed him too fast, damn it! Wow! Good work, Gohan! You handled that no problem. Wanna go a few rounds with your old man? Huh? Right now? Having saved the Earth, our heroes return to fight in the World Tournament. This battle is not to defend their home, but to merely test their strength. I must have killed him too fast. Uh, defeat Devor. Defeat. Hold on, wait. You do that by defeating him? Am I supposed to lose? Divide the battle against a. Okay, well. Alright, time Ugh. to go. No, I'm confused. Let's get this, please. To mock the great Devora, you're mine. What's wrong? Got you. Shoot. 
I'm playing differently. I'm trying to kill him slow, slower. You know what? Let's see your special. Do you want to see my bad side? Shoot. You could challenge me with such close strength. There. Is my health low enough now? going to be swift. There you are. There we go. Deborah's next strategy is to have Babidi manipulate Vegeta, Gohan, and friends leave their duel in search of Babidi, but Majin Buu successfully revives by absorbing the battle energy of Goku and Vegeta. Gohan attempts to flee the scene with the Supreme Guy, but they are in intercepted, and the, and the ensuing attack blows them far away. Gohan takes a heavy blow, causing him to lose consciousness. Vegeta soon arrives on the scene and takes over the fight with Majin Buu. Farewell, Bulma, Trunks, and even you, Kakarot. Vegeta self-destructs in hopes of defeating Majin Buu. However, even a self-sacrificing attack such as this does not affect Buu. When Gohan regains consciousness, he finds he is in the land of the Kais. He has narrowly escaped destruction at the hands of Buu thanks to the Supreme Kai. In order to defeat Buu, Gohan heroically pulls out the Z-Sword, which is said to give great power to the one who wields it. I think I have to do some Master Story, story again. Damn it. Go Go Goku, who is about to return to the other world, follows Gohan's key to his location. But it'll be after this. When Gohan and Goku test the sharpness of the Z-Sword, the sword breaks, releasing the Elder Kai who had been sealed inside. The Elder Kai commences a long ceremony to extend Gohan's power as beyond his limits. With that power, Gohan returns to Earth. It's... it's Goku! What? No, it's not my dad! It's my brother! He's okay! What? That can't be! I'm glad I wasn't too late. Camera? Camera. Oh, he's smiling. <laughs> Gohan, I'm glad to see you're okay. You weren't dead after all. No nose. Well, okay, no, you can kind of see it. No, it was a close call. But then the Supreme Kai saved me and took me back to his world. Where's everyone else? Majin Buu ate them. They're all dead. What? <laughs> they were very tasty. Boo turned them all to chocolate. A satisfying snack. <laughs> so, Hotshot, you want to fight Majin Boo? Fight you? No. I want to kill you. Oh, well, well. Boo, remember now. You're the one I blasted to the next continent. Yes, back in that wasteland. Over here. Dumbass. <laughs> Over here, dumbass. Oh my god. I... Fierce combination. Yeah. 
your fight. End of the line. I'll give you a fight. <laughs> There's no way. Goron manages to push Majibu to the brink, but Majibu makes himself explode and disappears. Okay. Then, after Gohan and the others hit, had searched for an hour, Majibu surprises everyone by reappearing on his own. For some reason, Majibu begins to taunt Goten and Trunks. The two, the two then fuse and transform into Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. But at the, at that moment, both Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and the distracted Piccolo are absorbed by Majin Buu. Be honest, Gohan. What do you think? I'd say my strategy was quite successful. You should feel privileged to witness the birth of the ultimate Majin. You've got no honor at all. You snuck up on them so they couldn't even fight back. It's your own fault, kid. I'm supposed to be the absolute strongest fighter in the universe. But you were stronger. I knew I had to do something. That's when I got the idea. If I could absorb that curious little fuse child, then the boost of my strength would make me completely untouchable. Well, it doesn't seem like this great plan's made you any smarter. A wise fighter wouldn't be telling all this to his enemy. And if you really wanted to become invincible, then you should have used your cowardly little sneak attack to absorb me instead. <laughs> you really don't get it, do you? What? It's just like the previous Majin Buu said. I'm going to kill you in battle no matter what it takes. Nothing less will satisfy me. Okay then. You want to fight? Then let's go. Let's. Though I can sense the time limit on Gotik's power is even shorter than before. So I'll have to make this quick. That's some pretty solid reasoning for a guy like you. I guess Piccolo's intelligence is starting to rub off on you after all. You fell. Not done yet. How's that?
Wait, did I just lose? I wasn't paying attention. Shit. No, oh, man, I need to take that more seriously. Lance, though I can sense the time limit on Gotik's power is even shorter than before, so I'll have to make this quick. That's some pretty solid reasoning for a guy like you. I guess Piccolo's intelligence is starting to rub off on you after all. Sorry, but uh, I'm going to abuse you now. Will always be weak. I'll give you a fight. I'll go all out. To the left. You might hit me. I missed. It's no use. What's wrong? Great landing. Wait, was I supposed to be low on health again? Oh, okay. Gohan is struggling in battle with, when Goku appears after receiving a life force from the Elder Kai. With him, he carries a batara that would allow them to fuse. However, Gohan fails to catch the batara that his father throws to him, taking advantage of Gohan's distraction, Majin Buu absorbs him. Just then, Goku senses a familiar and powerful key that has suddenly arrived. On the Earth, using his transmission, he goes to its source in search of aid. Vegeta then returns from the other world for only one day to fuse with Goku and become the strongest warrior ever known, Vegito. Despite having absorbed Gohan, Buu is easily overpowered by Vegito, but in order to save his friends, the Fuse Saiyan allows himself to be consumed by Buu. Thanks to Goku and Vegeta, Gohan and the victims of Majin Buu have been saved. As a result, Majin Buu transforms and lets loose a massive key wave. Gohan and the others aren't able to make it in time for Goku's instant transmission, leaving them to be annihilated along with the entire Earth. However, thanks to the team's heroics, Earth and all the people who had been wiped off the map are brought back in their place. Majin Buu perishes instead. Peace is restored to Earth once more. Oh, once again. It's a boost saga. I got Spopovich. Hmm. Got a destruction. All right, time to go. Time to fight Frieza's minions. Gohan becomes a budding scholar and studies hard in pursuit of his dreams. He has a child, Pan with Fidel, and li lives out a peaceful life. My words. Meanwhile, Goku ignores Chi Chi's protest and departs to train on a faraway planet that's home to Beerus, the god of destruction. Ah, once again, he leaves Chi Chi. But unbeknownst to our heroes, terrifying events are occurring out of sight. Frieza is revived by the Dragon Balls and brings an army to Earth to take revenge on Goku. Goku and Vegeta cannot be reached as they are training on Beerus's planet. While the two are gone, Gohan and four other warriors prepare to defend Earth from the arrival of the Frieza Force. What are you and your army doing here, Frieza? Is that not obvious to you? Oh my I'm god. Here for revenge. Just, I don't see Goku. Where has he gone? Just look at this perspective. Holy crap. Man. I came all this way after all, and I would hate to destroy everyone he has ever cared for without also hearing him beg me not to. Gohan, you defeated Cell as a kid! 
You should be able to handle this gas bag easily. Well, I could handle most of his men, I guess. But this is really serious, Bulma. Sure, we've gotten stronger, but then again, so has Frieza. Now, why does that one seem familiar? Oh, that's Goku's son, no question about it. It's so touching to see children grow. Give me some room. He's mine. Sure you don't need some help with this guy? Yeah, Piccolo. I'm not a kid anymore. Suit yourself. Miserable Saiyan! I will make you pay with your suffering and the pleasure it will afford me! Oh, finally, differences. Oh, I skipped that. Oops, my bad. See, it just auto sometimes, and I hate that. I see you haven't inherited all of Daddy's traits. You give up much faster. No matter. Your death will balance the scales. This is punishment for the crime of simply being a Saiyan. And it's what you deserve for being Goku's son. Now die! Piccolo? Piccolo? Piccolo! Goku. Reading. Following Gohan's massive key blast, Goku and Vegeta use instant transmission to return to Earth. Dad, you've got to beat him. A battle ensues between Goku showing the results of his training and Frieza helping on revenge. The two show off their new transformations. At the end of the grueling battle, Goku proves victorious over Frieza yet again, and Earth is saved. After battling Frieza, Gohan swears to become stronger for the sake of those precious to him and asks Piccolo to help him train. Ah, finally. New stuff. Alright, time to go. Gohan has made... Gohan has been made aware of his failings, but is growing stronger through his battles. While he's training, Goku informs him of the Tournament of Power. Hearing that, that the losing tournament would be annihilated, Gohan decides to participate in the tournament as a defender of Universe 7. To prepare for the Tournament of Power, Gohan trains ferociously with Piccolo and regains his fighting instincts. He takes Piccolo's warnings to heart and begins a special program that enables him to fight more aggressively. Y'all enjoying this so far? The Tournament of Power finally begins. Gohan and his friends watch it each other's backs and whittle down their enemies, but as the battle royale heats up, they shift to fighting individually. Get out of my way! Powerful foes arrive, one after the other. The results of Gohan's training show, and he has conquered the merciful nature. He fights without letting up, surviving almost until the very end. While the battle rages on, Freezer watches Gohan from the sidelines. Once Gohan's battle has finished and his exhaustion has a peak, Frost appears. Although Frieza is supposed to be an ally, he now joins forces with Frost and takes the fight to Gohan. Would you mind piping down? I suppose the cat is out of the bag now. You've fallen for it. Would you mind piping down? Would you mind piping down? Would you mind? 
Did I do a thing again? Freezer knocks his, his supposed ally Frost out of the arena. Then from behind him. <laughs> Look, he got back up! Gohan, are you gonna be okay? Does this mean what I think it does? Those two are only pretending to brawl. When I took that first attack, I knew right away you were holding back. So then I chose to play along with whatever you had planned. Well, if you had been too dense to figure it out, then I would have had no choice but to kill you. At least we know for certain that Frieza is truly on our side. I don't think I'd go that far. Yeah, if Gohan hadn't caught on to what he was up to, Frieza would have betrayed us in a heartbeat, that's for sure. What? My dear Gohan, that was fun. We should try to continue working together as we move toward victory. Shall we? Hmm. Hmm. Unable to completely trust Frieza, Gohan can use to give it his full strength. He joins forces with Piccolo and they progress through to the tournament. To the tournament. The other Universe 7 Warriors are also triumphing over their opponents. As the other Universe lose one by one and our race, Piccolo leaves the fray. The tournament is nearing the end. The battle leaves no room for an easy win. But Gohan, Goku, and the others join forces to defeat their most powerful enemy. Don't make me fight him again. Okay. Before long, only Universe 7 and 11 remain. Gohan notices Frieza struggling against Dispo and comes to his aid. Now he and Frieza fight side by side. For now, let's work as a team, assuming you can keep up. Don't worry about me. Come on, Dispo. You're facing both of us now. Don't get cocky just because you landed one blow. If you want to double your universe's losses, that works for me. I'll send you both over the edge together. You can't win. I'll give you a fight. Did I kill him too fast? You're moving a lot quicker than I expected. Go on, George Force Freezer to defeat Dispo. His only remaining opponents are Jiren and Topo. Go on, falls to his knees from exhaustion after the fight with Dispo. Meanwhile, Freezer joins Ender 70 and taking on Topo. The battle's intensity rapidly escalates. The moment a change occurs in Topo as he suffers a relentless onslaught of attacks from Frieza and Android 17. Again, the story has shifted. He abandons his ideas of justice, become a true god of destruction. His attacks drive Frieza and Android 17 back. The outlook of the battle turns grim. Gohan has been concentrating on recovering, but now he has the aid of the others by becoming Topo, now a god of destruction. This isn't good enough! Ah! Yeah! Frieza! Seventeen! Justice and evil. I have moved beyond that binary now. There is only being and the absence of being. I will face you. Fight me. Here and now. You need more than your fancy destruction energy to stop me! You 
think your trivial cause can compete with a destroyer's resolve? I ordain what will and will not exist. That's my cause. And to serve it, I will forsake all else. You dare call my cause trivial? I fight for Bulma, for Trunks and Bulla. I fight for the oath I made to a fellow warrior, for my say in pride. I fight for all I've built and all I am. Unlike you, I won't abandon all that to play God! Same here, Vegeta. I won't give up if you don't. <laughs> then let's do this! You got it. Come again. <laughs> Our universe will remain, no matter the price. Hakai! Oh, I'll give you a second to think about that, Hakai. There you are! I'll give you a fight! That's how you want it. I'll hit you with an attack you won't be able to destroy, even if it means I disappear with you. Not done yet. You're all out. I won't let you disappear, Vegeta. We're gonna win this together. Right, I've given you time. Time's up. All out. There you are. I'll give you a fight. Shoot. I'll start. Oh boy. I once again have to tear the timeline. Topo! Topo from Universe 11 has been eliminated. And with that, our time is up. Then that means... As the team with the most warriors still in the arena, Universe 7 is victorious! Whoa. We won, guys. What are you so surprised about? You're the one who promised we'd win. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Now come on, stand up and accept your victory before we go home without you. Yeah, thanks Vegeta. Let's get back. Everybody's waiting for us. Universe 7 reigns victorious, and for their wish, they ask Super Shenron to revive the other universes that had been erased. With his selfless request granted, the half Saiyan hero and his team return home, where he is welcomed by his loving family. Okay, that was a different one. Okay, so... I believe, yeah, it's this one. All right, time to go. So that was a side story, because I killed, killed Dustbow too fast. I have to be a little bit slower. For now, let's work as a team, assuming you can keep up. Don't yeah, I'll play with you for a minute and then I'll focus. Come on, Dispo. You're facing both of us now. Don't get cocky just because you landed one blow. If you want to double your universe's losses, that works for me. I'll send you both over the edge together. You were far too weak. 
supposed to damage me am i supposed to be am i supposed to be losing health or something maybe i'm supposed to be hurt here hit, hit me with that hit me with that come on i want to see your special hit me hit me hit me, hit me. i'm blocking automatically come on yeah hit, hit me with that hit me with that is that it? That must have been the wrong move. No way, You're going down. Shoot. I guess my health ain't low enough. Come on, try harder. Try harder. Here. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Hmm. It's a little hard to lose. Maybe if I try to dodge. Come on, hit me. Hit me already. Why are you so weak? Take this. Sure. Why am I guarding automatically? Not going to work. Justice. Come on. Go all out. I even let you get me to red and nothing happened. Okay, I defeated you very slowly this time. So maybe now the story will progress and you won't feed me bullshit? There we go. Freezer drains his last reserves of energy fighting Dispo. No, he caught me off guard. There, that ought to do it. What? My job is to knock you out. And I don't intend to let the seventh universe down. Frieza! <laughs> Your strategy worked. Well done, team leader. And now we get to the fun part. Don't look so anxious, Dispo. Your time to rest in the bleachers will arrive soon anyway. Don't do it! Good job, Gohan. That should have been the end of your story. Gohan and Dispo fall from the arena and into the spectator seats. Gohan apologizes to his friends for being eliminated. However, Piccolo and the others praise him for his good judgment. Gohan turns his gaze back to the arena and c continues to watch the fight. Goku and his companions fight heroically and achieve victory over Jiren. At was the last remaining warrior from Universe 7, Energy 17 asks Super Shinron to restore the universes that have been erased, and his wish is granted. The tournament of power is over. Go and those return to Universe 7 in their normal lives. Okay, so that was the correct ending, right? Alright, so that's Gohan's stuff done. Goodbye. Anything else to tell? Alright, that's the end of Gohan.